With most of the Carolinas under a flash flood watch until midnight tomorrow, the National Weather Service is working to improve how it warns all of us about flash flood warnings. Flash floods aren't as common right now, but we could see them in the coming days. And as we get into the spring season, when those warnings start popping up more, you're going to notice some changes. Meteorologist Chris Mulcahy has been digging into what's new and what it means for all of us. Flooding and flash flooding are historically one of the deadliest weather events here in the United States. When your county is issued a flash flood warning, that means water is rapidly rising, usually caused by excessive rainfall occurring within a six hour period. But at the end of 2019, the National Weather Service created a new three tier approach for flash flood warnings called impact based warnings. Here they are. The lowest tier and most common is the base flash flood warning. Typically, this means some roads are closed. A few cars may be stalled out only if they try to drive through those flooded roads and some yards could be flooded. Tier number two is a considerable flash flood warning. At this point, the flash flooding is life threatening. Property damage is probable. Water is coming into homes and vehicular water rescues often are an issue. This is why we always stress turn around, don't drown during these events. The last and final tier is a catastrophic flood warning, also known as a flash flood emergency. This must be coordinated with the county emergency management. This is an extremely rare event and has only happened twice here in the Carolinas. Back in 2018 during Hurricane Florence, in Union County, North Carolina, and Chesterfield County, South Carolina. When this happens, everyone should be off the roads. But here's the biggest change that everyone at home is going to notice. We receive our warnings on our phone from WIA, or the Wireless Emergency Alert System. But starting on February 6th, unless this date is further delayed by the National Weather Service, your phones will no longer be notified for base warnings. This means fewer people sleep being disrupted unless the flash flood warning is life-threatening. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte.